Shout out to each and every one of you. It's been a while since I've been away. I haven't been able to do a lot of videos because my mom was sick at the time. Of course, she has now passed away. So this has freed me up to do this video. This is going to be a follow-up video on Is Manny Pacquiao an 8th Divisional World Champion? And this is a video I did very recently. And we're going to get on to uh, explanation of why I said that he is not. Because some of you have presented some information which you think is why it's valid that he is an 8th Divisional World Champion. I will explain my case in a minute. But first, Psalm 74. Psalm 74 is a really wonderful psalm. It's a call to action. It's a, it's a challenge to God. It's an appeal to His mercy. It's all of those things because everything's going south at this point in time. It seems as though the more we pray to God, the more worse things happen. And even we seem to fall prey to uh, more temptations and we seem to be even going worse. It seems things are getting worse when we appeal to God. And that's the enemy. And David literally speaks about that in Psalm 74. And he says it in a challenging way. Of course, this is not at all what is happening with God. God is not doing this at all. But he's allowing the enemy to sort of have a say so that we can curse God and die. Kind of like the story of Job. Psalm 74 says, Oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you have purchased of old. The rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed. This Mount Zion whom you have dwelt. Lift up your feet unto the perpetual desolations, even all that the enemy has done wickedly in the sanctuary. I'm going to skip down to some more stuff here. The enemy said in their hearts, let's destroy them together. They have burned up the synagogues of God in the land. It goes on to say a little bit further. Lord, you divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the heads of the Leviathan in pieces and gave him as meat to the people in the wilderness. He's reminding uh, the Lord of what he's done before. Then he says, Oh, deliver not the soul of your turtle dove into the multitude of the wicked. Forget not the congregation of the poor forever. Have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Forget not the voice of your enemies, the tumult of those that rise up against you continually. David is appealing to God's mercy. And I, I've got to tell you, man, the greatest deception is for us to believe that we can somehow save ourselves. We can't. We can't. Everything's by the mercy of God. I know I can tell you from experience it's by the mercy of God. And that's why we want to give him praise all the time. Glorify his name, give him thanks, and try to live as servants of him. So I wanted to share this with you guys because sometimes it looks as if things are just going worse and worse and worse and worse. And even our own selves, our own integrity seems to be compromised even more and more and more. But you must remember and appeal to the Lord because his mercy endured forever. I've seen his mercy. I've seen his grace. I know, though, I have no confidence in myself and my flesh. I have confidence in the Lord. And I want to give you guys that uh, as you, you grow daily in him. Now, back to this box in here. Is Manny Pacquiao a division world champion? Now, a lot of people cite this, and Spectre is a perfect example. Spectre two years ago said, You forgot that the ring world champion from Hatton and Barrera. What kind of videos do you need more research? Test, test, test. So he was saying that Manny Pacquiao is an eight divisional world champion, and yes, against the Tony, Marco Antonio Barrera and against Ricky Hatton. Uh, he didn't have the typical world championship titles, but he had the Ring Magazine uh, championship title, which should count as a world title. And just so you guys know, this is the Guinness Books of Records. You can see Manny Pacquiao has eight total divisional world championship titles. They say world division. And here are the cited ones here. The WBC Super Welterweight title, which he beat uh, uh, Antonio Margarito to get, which is a legitimate world title for sure. And also the WBC Flyweight uh, and super featherweight and lightweight division. So he was WBC flyweight, WBC super featherweight, and WBC lightweight world champion. These are all legitimate championship titles. My question mark is on the ring featherweight title, which I don't think is a legitimate world title. I'll tell you why. IBF super bantamweight title is a legitimate world title. The IBO and ring light welterweight uh, 
world titles I don't think are legitimate either and the WBO welterweight so when I talk about world titles I'm talking about world recognized legitimate world titles and one of the best ways to explain that to you guys is to say these titles these championship titles should add together to give you the undisputed world title whatever weight class it is okay so that's why I said he's a six divisional world champion as far as I'm concerned and but he has won world titles in eight divisions which is also remarkable he's going up ten weight classes as well which is remarkable so if you look at my Pacquiao for instance I just kind of bring it to your attention a little bit more you will see that uh, when he fought and beat Antonio Margarito here in 2010 he had gone through 10 weight classes from his first time and he had won uh, eight divisional titles that I can say I wouldn't say world titles but he won eight divisional titles six world titles and this was a legitimate world title which is the WBC super welterweight title okay he also won a uh, world title at welterweight against Antonio Margarito I'm sorry against Miguel Cotto who Antonio Margarito uh, beat um, and he, he beat Miga Koto to win the WBO World Welterweight title. Now, that's a legitimate world title. I'll explain to you why in a minute. He also beat Ricky Hatton, but he won the WBO World Super Lightweight title. And I don't think of that as a legitimate world title. It is a world title, but I don't think of it as a legitimate world title. I'll explain to you why in a minute. He also beat David Diaz. To win the WBC World Lightweight title, which is a legitimate world title. He beat Juan Manuel Marquez to win the WBC Super Featherweight World title, which is a legitimate world title as well. And then he went on to uh, beat Marco Antonio Barrera, uh, who was uh, the lineal world champion. He had beat Eric Morales uh, just a few, few fights before. And... Uh, Marco Antonio Barrera though was stripped of the WBC world title so he was not he did not have a legitimate world title he was the lineal champion however okay so he had the ring world title for that and he also um, had won the uh, IBF world super bantamweight title so a, a legitimate world title he won it against uh, I believe it was Ledama Lejo Ledama so Leo Le Duama, he won it against him. Okay, that's a legitimate world title. And also he won the WBC uh the WBC Flyweight World title. He won it here. Okay. He won it against the lineal world champion at the time, which was Chachai Sasaku. Okay. So these are all the world titles. Now, I want to explain to you guys that there are four major sanctioning bodies in professional bo boxing. World recognized major sanctioning bodies. This is important. The word major is why I talk about world titles or not world titles. When I hear major, that's when I talk about world titles. Okay? So you have the four major bodies are the WBA, the WBC, the IBF, and the WBO all recognize each other in their rankings and title unification rules. And because they recognize each other, if you get all of these four belts, you are considered the undisputed whatever weight class champion of the world. Okay? That's how you become an undisputed world champion. And that is what makes it so key, because it's so well recognized and so much throughout the world that you can become an undisputed world champion in the weight class. That's what makes the difference with these major sanctioning bodies and therefore these major world titles. And these are the ones I call world titles. Okay? There are other sanctioning bodies, and also they're recognized by the International Boxing Hall of Fame, which is very important. All of the other titles do not add up and are not recognized by the other sanctioning bodies that I just mentioned to give you the undisputed world championship. It, they're none of them else. And that's why I don't consider them, not even the linear championship by the ring, 
I do not consider them as major or important world titles, which is why I and Fight Critic agree that Manny Pacquiao has not won eight divisional world titles. He's won six. All right, and he's beaten two lineal champions. Now, so that my point is clear enough for you, here are a bunch of worldwide organizations which offer world titles. Okay? You have the International Boxing Union, you have the World Boxing Organization, you have the World Boxing Council, these are the four major ones. You have the IBF, which is the International Boxing Federation, you have the World Boxing Federation. There are a bunch of governing bodies that offer world titles. You have the World Boxing Organization. Now these that are in bold caps are because these are the, the four world recognized organizations. They are called the major uh, boxing bodies. And therefore they offer major world titles, which are the world titles that count, in my opinion. But you also have the IBC, which is the International Boxing Council. You have the IBO. You have the WBU, you have the IBA, you have the IBU, you have the GBC, okay? There are many, 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 many boxing uh, organizations. You have the WBF, you have the UBO, you have the TB, you have the GBU, okay? You have the IAB, okay? And we can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Now... All of those other organizations we just talked about are minor world boxing organizations. They have give you minor world boxing titles. They are not major world boxing titles. If you look the, the you know, if you look at the WBO, you look at the IBU, you look at the WBA and you look at the WBC, they are throughout the entire world championships hold them. These others are not completely throughout the entire world. Therefore, they're not as recognized as the WBC, WBO, WBA, and IBF. Now, added to that point is this other point I wanted you guys to see so that it will strengthen the point that I'm making. And to do so, I will simply go to the annual ratings by year by The Ring magazine. And I will mention a number of different examples of things to make my point clear. Roberta Duran, for example, back in 1972 was considered the Ring Magazine's Ring Champion, okay? In 1972, he beat the Lineal Champion whose name uh, in 1972 was Ken Buchanan. And so when Roberto Duran beat Ken Buchanan in 1972, he became the WBA World Lightweight Champion and he also became the Lineal Champion. Now, Ken Buchanan had beaten I forgot what his name is, but he had beaten that guy to become the undisputed lightweight champion of the world because he had the WBA and the WBC world titles. At the time, WBC and WBA were the two belts you had to get to become undisputed world champion. So when Roberto Duran beat Ken Buchanan, he became the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. And if we go to 1972 here, you will see that the Ring Magazine awarded him the Ring Magazine title right here, which you see above here, Roberto Duran, and he is here the lineal champion. He's also the Ring Magazine champion. Let me make it say, even though the Ring Magazine did this since 1922, this is not, the Ring Magazine is not a sanctioning body. So that while you get this honorary title, I'll show you something. I'll show you something. So, Roberto Duran, after he beats Kenny Buchanan, he suffers his first loss against Esteban de Asus. Yes, it's at a higher, they have a slightly higher weight, but this is not a championship fight. And therefore, uh, Roberto Duran does not lose his WBA lightweight title. He also doesn't lose his ring magazine title. Now, if you beat the lineal champion, all right, and you're a guy that campaigns at lightweight, yes, you guys added on a few extra pounds. You beat the like you beat the lineal champion. You should be lineal champion, right? That's how it should go. The guy who beats the guy. But Ace the Aces beats uh, Roberto Duran, but does not get the lineal championship from him. He's not the Ring Magazine's uh, champion. Okay. And this just goes to show you that 
the guy who beats the guy doesn't always become the man. And also, in addition, that the lineal championship is not a world-recognized championship. It is something that's con by convention and understanding we respect it. It's an honorary title. It's like how the Ring Magazine, to honor the lineal championship, gives this Ring Magazine championship title. It's an honorary title. It is not a world respected official title which is why Manny Pacquiao did not have eight divisional world championship titles but he has six world recognized respected official championship titles okay this is just the second reason I'm going to give you another reason so this is why when you look at for example uh, when Manny Pacquiao beats Marco Antonio Barrera, you'll see it's not a championship match in box rec. See, it's not a championship match. Even though they're in the weight class, it's not a championship match. And so you cannot count this as him winning a championship title. Yes, he gets the honorary title of lineal champion because he beats the guy that beat the guy. But he is not, and the ring magazine even honors him because I guess they were in, within rate. But he is not a world champion here. Because he beat Marco Antonio Barrera, he's not a world champion. He has to go and get one of those four titles. So when he went on to face uh, Juan Manuel Marquez at Super Featherweight, uh, who was the world champion, uh, they fought to a draw. He is not world featherweight champion because they fought to a draw. So these are the kinds of things you have to understand. Okay? So uh, there are some other examples I can give you of lineal championships and people attaining lineal championships. One of them you'll have to do your homework on is Shane Mosley uh, facing um, Antonio Margarito. And when Shane Mosley knocks out Antonio Margarito, Antonio Margarito being the number one welterweight in the world, Shane Mosley being number three, Shane Mosley becomes the number one welterweight in the world. But not only that, but there's rules for the ring. If the number one beats the number three in the world, then that person who, or the number three beats the number one, the person who wins becomes lineal champion. That's just the way it goes. If there's no lineal champion there, so Shane Mosley was actually lineal champion. So when Floyd beat Shane Mosley, he should have been lineal champion, but it wasn't recognized as a championship match because Shane Mosley had threw away his WBA belt. So Floyd should have been WBA world champion, but he did. It was not uh, sanctioned as that. So you cannot call that a championship match that Floyd faced Shane Mosley. It was not a championship match. And even though Shane Mosley was rightfully the lineal champion, the guy who beat the guy, Floyd wasn't getting credit for that because it's not important. That was not important. And the ring didn't even recognize it, which was really weird. So what I'm saying to you is that the ring magazine's title is a magazine title. It's honorary. It's not the same as when a sanctioning body gives you a sanctioned belt. You really want a sanctioned belt. You don't want the ring magazine belt. You want the sanctioned belt. And that is why I said that it, you're really looking at the four major boxing organizations. The ring magazine's title is an honorary title that a magazine gives you. But you want to read. It's just like pound for pound is an honorary title. Okay? People look for it, but it's not, um, it's not a official title. Okay? So similarly, uh, with Manny Pacquiao, when people mention the Ring Magazine title as one of the world titles that he attained, I say no. There are four world titles you can attain, major world titles, and the Ring Magazine's uh, title is not one of them. So people who are forcing that into the equation, they're wrong. And that goes for the Guinness Books of Records as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. You can also donate to this channel. Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. To donate to this channel, you can do to me, donate to me via Western Union or MoneyGram. You guys, have a great one.